Hey, have you guys ever calculated this little dude here? I to the power of I? What is that? How can we get the value of that? Well, we can rewrite this as e to the natural log of I to the I as e to the x and natural log of x are inverses, so this has no net effect. And now we can apply some properties of logarithms to take this exponent of I and pull it outside as a multiplication, so we get e to the I times the natural log of I. Now regarding the natural log of I, we can appeal to Euler's equation. As I is a complex number of absolute value 1, we can write it as e to the e, wait, e to the i theta, where theta is the angle that this complex number i makes with the positive real axis on the complex plane, which is of course pi over 2. So we get e to the i pi over 2 as i, and that means that the natural log of i is i pi over dose. And so e to the i times natural log of i can be written as e to the i times i to the pi i pi over 2. Man, I cannot speak words today. i times i is negative 1. In fact, that's the only thing about i, really. And so we get e to the negative pi over 2 as the value of i to the power of i. Jesus Christ, the thing is real? Alright, now it's not uncommon for people to talk about this. I mean, at least among our circle. Uh, I to the I, that's, that's the imaginary unit, raised to the power of I, and it gives us a real number, so that's kind of interesting, and, you know, people have pointed this out quite frequently. Now, that's pretty, uh, pretty interesting there. But what happens if we do it again? I mean, if something feels good, we should always do it again. And so, let's see, I to the I to the I, that is, well, we know i to the i to be e to the negative pi over 2, right? So, what we're asking for is this. And that's e to the negative i pi over 2. And by Euler's equation, again, we know that this is the complex number of absolute value 1 that makes an angle of negative pi over 2 with the positive real axis, which is negative i. Alright, let's do it again. What's i to the i to the i to the i? Well, again, we know that i to the i to the i is negative i, so we can write this as negative i to the i. And better yet, we know that i to the i is this thing, or negative i is this thing, so this is e to the negative i pi over 2 to the i. And when we multiply i times i, we get negative 1, and there's already a negative there, so we end up getting e to the pi over 2. Ooh! That's kind of cute, right? I mean, we have this dude, then then this dude. You think this is going to maybe make a loop-de-loop -loop or something? Let's find out. What comes next? I to the I to the I to the I to the I. Now this one you can immediately see because there's a lot of I's. I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm going to edit that out or something. Okay, so all this stuff is E to the pi over 2. And we're raising that to the i, so we get e to the i pi over 2, which is the complex number that makes the angle pi over 2, which is, of course, i itself. Well, I'll be damned. We do, in fact, get a little cycle thing. We go back to where we started, so this is going to enclose some shape on the complex plane. Let's see what it is. We start with i. There we go. And then we raise that to the i power, and we get e to the negative pi over 2. Okay. Raise that to the i-th power, and we get negative i. Raise that to the i-th power, and we get e to the pi over 2. Raise that to the i-th power, and we're back at i. So we enclose this shape here on the complex plane. And I must say, that looks pretty badass. It's like an arrowhead or a spearhead. Uh, let us know down below, is it an arrowhead or a spearhead? Whichever's cooler. Feel free to cite whatever theorems or results you want in showing whether or not it's a spearhead or an arrowhead. But in all seriousness, here's what I want you to do. We got this shape here through a pretty, uh, I'd say natural thing. I mean, a simple thing. We start with I and raise it to powers and it encloses this shape here. So I bet it has some cool properties about it. Maybe its area is cool. Maybe its angles are cool. I don't know. Let's find out. Find something cool about the arrowhead here. Let us know in the comments down below and be sure to give your interpretation of why these cool things are happening to the arrowhead, or what the arrowhead is saying, why is it here, just let us know. Go crazy down there, I want to see some cool posts. 
Thanks for watching, and that's gonna do it for this video. I'll see you next time.